What's up guys, thanks so much for tuning in today's video. I'm Kara from K's Ways, if you're new, and this is where I like to inspire you to do it your way. Y'all read the title, it is a huge, and I mean huge, Timu haul, okay? Because I told you guys I had two more orders coming from the last haul that I placed. This is now my third video with Timu, and it's a special one because they went ahead and sent over a box of goodies. I was able to pick them out, but this is stuff that I wouldn't necessarily, well, I would have purchased some of it, but you'll see, you'll see, I'll explain a little bit more later i'm really excited to do this video so i can go ahead and get this stuff out of the boxes because as i go through my house i'm like yo i could have had my thing still up and going so it's time this video is overdue if you love timo holes definitely give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and you love these kind of videos usually on this channel we talk beauty we talk hair you can see i did a little um wash and go today and it's looking really good i actually like it so wash and goes are not always so successful so i just it's just moisturization basically and I'm letting my hair air dry. I have one bag here, another big bag here, and then I have a box of goodies on top of that. Don't wanna take it slow. Just wanna let you know. Ready to spend some time. I'm gonna start with the box because this is the stuff I got for free. I'll let you know when I get into the bags back there that I purchased, but yeah. This is the stuff that Timu went ahead and sent over. Shout out to Timu for sponsoring this part of the video. One thing I noticed when I opened this box was they sure pack things a little bit differently than when they pack it when, you know, us regular folks is ordering, right? <laughs> but they give you like those nice strong plastic bags and these are good for traveling, guys. I use this for like laundry when traveling and things like that. Laundry or even just organizing and separating your socks, your shoes, things like that. These bags come in handy, so don't throw them out. So I thought that was a little bit different because I don't think I've ever seen this kind of packaging in any of the orders that I have placed and now I'm on my fourth order right I'm glad that I give, give y'all both perspectives of these this kind of thing because I don't care whether they send me this stuff or not you know I buy my own stuff that's how we had two holes previously so I don't mind that but I just want to give you the different perspectives so first thing I picked up was this uh, pajama dress got mine in a size large and I'm noticing that the straps don't adjust that's one thing like I told you guys I don't be reading description boxes and stuff like that but <laughs> so Hopefully it just fits. This is just something to throw on to be walking around the house and comfortable. And if I'm not mistaken, I got it in another color. That's a shirt. Well, you'll see this in another color in a minute, but let's get into the second bag. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Feed your hunger. And it's a hamburger of money. <laughs> Feed your hunger. Because y'all know I'll be out here hustling and working. And that's why I'm just so happy to be on camera with you guys. Oh, shout out to Babe because he went and took the kids to Dave and Buster's. That's why the house is so quiet. I get to actually come and film with you guys. And I didn't want to waste no time like putting on makeup or anything like that. I just took a shower, washed my hair, and moisturized, and then turned on the camera. So I'm so excited to be doing this video. Okay, so here's the other one. This is the other um, house dress <laughs> that I was talking about. So I got it in blue and I got it in gray. This is gray. It looks kind of whitish on camera. Like, oh, okay. This is the thing that I was actually in the kitchen looking for. I was like, didn't I just order one of these? Because I want to organize above the sink and I can put these on. Like, it sticks on. I don't have to, like, use any hardware. And then this is the little tray. So I can put, I have, like, a soap dispenser. When I do my best and worst of Timu video, because definitely stay tuned. That video will be coming now that I'm going to have everything and I'll be using everything. But there will be a best and worst of Timu. I'll show you, like, images of how it looks. In, but... This is like uh, the dish rag holder. So I be tired of my son. Like he'll wipe something and then he just freaking puts the thing on the side. And I'm always the one to come back, like, you know, lights all everything down and then hang it up. So at least now he'll know. This is a designated spot for you to hang up that stuff, okay? So I can't wait to put that together. This is also for the kitchen. We have a, it's a honey dispenser, but I really want it for syrup. Shopping like BJ, Sam's Club, that kind of stuff. So we buy the big syrup, but I want to use this for like refilling the syrup. And then also I went ahead and picked up this leather desk mat. I'm so excited because um, sometimes my mouse, I don't know, on this desk, it'd be a little funny. So this desk mat will help my mouse move around a little bit better. My desk is black, but I picked up the mat in gray. It's nice and long because I have a nice long desk. And oh, what's this? You can even put like something snap here, maybe like a, a pen or something so that it doesn't roll away. So that's going to look really nice on my desk. It's going to fit really nicely. I'm excited about that. I'm not even going to put this back in the box. Like I'm literally going to set it up after I finish filming later, like for real. Oh, and there's a longer piece here too. Oh, was that to hold it closed? I don't know if that's to hold it closed, like if you want to not use it and store it somewhere. So comes with that little piece now this item is wrong let me tell y'all i thought these were like the big jumbo ice cubes i have an ice maker here but i wanted the big jumbo ones 
the ice doesn't melt so fast sometimes. Actually, these are going to come in handy because when my son goes away to school, he can have this in his mini fridge and make some ice. So it just may come in handy. You know, I'll find a way to use it. But I was just a little bit disappointed that it wasn't the size. And in case you didn't know, you see the box was open, right? Because I went ahead and rummaged through this stuff. <laughs> And then y'all know I'm on my organizing kick, so I got some more organizers. These are drawer organizers. I have some in my drawer, but Chloe and Drew's drawers, like their socks and underwears, they just be mixing everything up, and it really gets on my nerves. <laughs> so hopefully these will help them keep things in order. It's like literally just like the one that I have, so they can put their socks or like underwear, whatever, however they want it in these little dividers. It's a three-piece set. That's going to be perfect organization for them. Oh, I thought about this too when I was taking a shower. This is, let me take it out. So this is one of the, these things you put at like at the bottom of your shower drain and it catches all the hair and stuff. So I was thinking about it because of course I washed my hair today and I was like, oh, this is the perfect time. Even though I don't get a lot of shedding. For myself, for Chloe, we always be clogging up the freaking bathtub. So I think this would be good to catch the hair. So I'm going to definitely put that in the bathroom. Bathroom. This is funny because I had ordered these but I didn't realize that I had ordered it in one of my previous orders too So you'll see these twice in this video But these are those little extension cord organizer things So you like stick this on your appliances and you wrap the extension cord around it just so that it's not looking You know the extension cords they be looking a mess so you want some kind of organization So I picked up some of those my kids love ice cream So I got a new ice cream scooper because you know why not recently when I was organizing the kitchen and stuff I threw out one of the ones because I just didn't like it was like scratched up in the inside and looked tell it looked just tacky <laughs> so i had to go ahead and replace the one that i had threw away so my kids love ice cream and that's definitely gonna be used i went ahead and picked up some kitchen gloves i like these because babe he bought a big box of the latex gloves i don't want latex touching my food i don't know i feel away so these are the food grade gloves that i wanted to go ahead and get another box of those because i usually get them from like the 99 cent stores and they be like seven eight dollars for these gloves like Seriously. So. Oh, and I just noticed I wasn't telling you guys the prices. I'm going to put the price of everything on the screen and everything will be listed and linked down below. Oh, guys, wait a minute. Timo, they sent this stuff over and let me tell you, I didn't even tell y'all the best part. They gave me a discount code for you guys so y'all can save 30% off if this is your first time order. Even if it's not your first time order, go ahead and use a different email address and get that 30% off because, like, how could you not resist? already cheap prices and then 30% off on top of that like y'all better get that discount I was so excited to get into the things that I have I totally forgot to tell y'all about that so like like I said you know everything will be listed in the description box I try to put as much information as possible down there for you guys make it nice and easy for you guys so everything will be listed linked prices you'll see the prices all that yes I'm still going with the stuff they sent me I didn't even get into my two bags back there yet so I went ahead and picked up this kitchen sink drain, you know, when you bring home all your fruits and vegetables. I like the fact that I can go ahead and put this right in the dish rack and wash everything and then I can actually leave it there to dry and then everything is nice and clean and then boom, put it away for storage, just shrinks. Love it. So I'm really excited about that one. Then I went ahead and picked up this little paint set because like... By the kitchen, I want to like touch up some of the, the marks in the kitchen where some of the paint may have chipped off. So I said, let me go ahead and get this little cute paint set. I thought it was a little bit bigger when I seen it online. I'm not going to front, but I mean, it's just me and I'm not doing like painting the whole walls. I'm just doing touch up. So this is perfect, even though when I picked it out, I did think it was bigger. And then last but not least, I bought some Beezy. <laughs> but this is something that I wouldn't have purchased. That's what I was talking about when I mentioned in the intro that... I picked up stuff that I went and purchased. This is the only thing that I went and purchased, honestly, because I don't wear fake stuff. But I did purchase this in a way to tell you guys how to spot fake Yeezys, basically, because I have the real version of the Yeezy 350s. And I keep seeing people when they team holes and they got this on the front cover. So I'm like, you know what? Let me see if these are the real 350s. And I'm here to report that they ain't. <laughs> okay? So like I said, these are Yeezys. This has sport on the side of the box. That already gives it away. My Yeezy box says nothing about no sport, but the 350 is a bug. Not for nothing. I mean, this is a cute little colorway. And if they're as comfortable as the Yeezys are, I mean, it wouldn't be a, a bad buy. I'm going to end up giving these away, like, to donate to somebody, honestly. But I do want to do a separate, i probably do, like, a like a reel, a YouTube short or something. Because I'm not going to make a whole video, like, how to spot fake Yeezys. I'm just going to do a little Instagram reel. I mean, I'll, I'll do a little reel or short or something showing you guys. But like I said, this is a cute little co colorway. If you don't know, you can't tell they're not real. But I'll tell you now, it's because at the bottom, it actually says Boost on the Yeezys. 
And then the second thing was that the right here, there would be some kind of lettering. I'm not sure if he has ones that don't have lettering, but the ones that I have, they're black and blue. And then Babe said you could tell because he don't think that there's any clear bottom gummies of the sneakers. So I'm not sure. Again, I don't have this colorway, but from what I'm seeing comparing it to my Yeezys, this is a Feezy, okay? <laughs> Either way, shout out to Timo for sending that stuff over and giving me that 30% discount code so you guys can get in on the savings. Now I'm going to um like clean up a little bit and then we'll get into what I purchased from Timo. So again, we're going to use this little break so you guys can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I'll be right back. All right, so now let's get into the two purchases that I had told you guys that I had on the way for a while now. They actually been sitting here in the corner, but then Timu reached out about sending me some stuff. I was like, why don't I just do one huge haul? Because they love Timu so much, let me give the people what they want. You know what I mean? First thing I have here is a bag. Oh, see, that's the thing about the material. I don't really like the material, but I guess it's going to be inside my bag, so it shouldn't matter. But this is a bag organizer, so you have the pockets here. You got one long pocket on that side, then you have two smaller pockets on this side. I was hoping it was big enough for my MCM bag, like I have the um, MCM tote, but this actually is going to be perfect for my Marc Jacobs bag. It'll give me some more little pockets. You have three pockets here on the side there, then you have another two pockets on the side there. So a nice little purse organizer, and this was like three, four bucks if I'm not mistaken, so I definitely wanted to grab that. And I'm going to probably go on to Timu to look for different sizes. Oh, I didn't know what this was. Apparently, I bought some um, no-show boy shorts. <laughs> you know, I don't like to show you like, my underwear. But, of course, there's pictures in the side. I separated these two orders. So, this is going to be more like clothing items and stuff. So I did pick up a couple of pieces. I made sure like with the house dresses I showed you earlier, I made sure to type in in the search cotton and whatever I was looking for. Cause I noticed like, if you remember the little cherry bodysuit, not bodysuit, the cherry outfit that I got, it was like polyester and that stuff would be hard to breathe in. So I wanted to make sure that my stuff was cotton this time around. I went ahead and picked up this t-shirt and it says black queen, I am who I am. Your approval isn't needed. Okay, so I love this little t-shirt. Then let's see what we had. Oh, this is a pajama set. So I went ahead and got some shorts. And then here is the top. And this is not cotton. So I must not. This is before I was put on to game, I think. <laughs> so just a little um, pajama set. Because, you know, spring and summer is coming. And I'm about to have no clothes on. Got to be comfy and cute. Then I have this t-shirt, which homegirl is natural okay just like me yeah. so we looking like twins out here with her hoops and everything like tell me that ain't me on this t-shirt i love it so cute oh now i love me a good two-piece suit to like you know chilling so i went ahead and picked this one up which oh my god i can't believe this is not cotton i got some from shein before like i had mad colors i had the blue i had the green i had the gray like i had mad colors in my little two-piece set but it's the biking shorts with the matching t-shirt basically i have black <laughs> like i have like every color of them from she in and i thought i was gonna get a hot pink one because i got my hot pink dunks and i thought that would go with it but i don't know if i'll be wearing this unbreathable material it would have to be a cooler day where i can actually breathe in this material because this damn showing sure cotton i can tell by the way it feels yeah 95 percent pop 95 percent polyester and five percent spandex so um i suggest she in for my cotton ones <laughs> I went ahead and got me some more slippers. I actually have on my Timu slippers right now as we speak, okay? So I put my stuff to use, y'all. Now these look just like the ones that I had got from Amazon before, but you know, they ended up falling apart because I wore them so much. These are not the same ones I got from Amazon because this bottom is hard like a chancleta, like you want to be cute. Back in the days, the chancletas, but these are some cute little uh, slippers because you seen that the ones that I have now are closed toes and eventually I'm not going to want my toes in these. These are kind of lined for like the fall and winter. So these will be better for the spring and summer where my toes can actually breathe, you know. So got me some more slippers. Now we got some household things going on in here. So this right here is a, this is a toothpaste, it says it's a toothpaste extruder. To me it's just a holder from a toothpaste. So that everybody can, um, you put the toothpaste up here and then everybody put their, you know, stick their toothbrush in there and it dispenses a good amount of toothpaste. Because the kids, yo, I cannot stand when people, like, if you don't keep the toothpaste, like, flowing straight, 
they be having toothpaste in the back and then it'd be like a big dent from where you can see people were squeezing the toothpaste. That really annoys me. So this will help me out. Just a little something for my OCD, I guess. So we're definitely going to try that out and I'll let you guys know how that works out. I bought some baking gloves and I thought these was going to be like a little special because usually I buy my gloves from like Dollar Tree. Well, the five quarter store at this point. It's not Dollar Tree no more. It's the five quarter store. But these are supposed to be like heat resistant and yeah, the lining feels a little bit thicker and better with these. So sometimes you um use them Dollar Tree things and if, the, if it's the right pan and it's super hot, sometimes you feel that heat right through the, the mitt. So I wanted to get some heavy duty gloves and these feel good actually so I think I got two well I got two different patterns rather than two of the same pattern like baffles me but I did <laughs> what we had oh yeah this is cute yo let me tell you how Chloe had made some um DiGiorno and she was like didn't you order a uh, pizza cutter I was like but I gotta do my video you gotta wait <laughs> so here we go we have a pizza cutter and it's actually protecting like the slicing part too so you open it and then it locks on the side and you can go ahead and cut your pizza okay so we had a pizza cutter before and then eventually it just stopped working i guess the blade had like you know died down or whatever so got a nice new pizza cutter tons of stuff for the kitchen including these now my my daughter she loves freaking sauce if you she catches us to death okay so i figured these little bowls would help because she could have her sauce on the side and this i bought two of them but that's how one came cracked so i'm really upset about that like some of the stuff don't come in like boxes and stuff or even like the bags that i had in the beginning of the video if you would just gave me like that in the bag maybe it wouldn't crack so team will stop being cheap with them bags <laughs> but yeah i bought two of those and we're still gonna use it because it's not cracked to the point where it's not usable she don't she shouldn't have that much sauce anyway but i thought these are cute these are called like dumpling bowls but she can put like whatever snack she's having with whatever sauce ketchup ranch because she loves ranch dressing that kind of stuff she's just a sauce fiend so these are definitely going to come in handy i went ahead and got a microwave popcorn popper but i prefer my popcorn to have like the regular kernels you know the bag of kernels that you buy not like the freaking we have a box of like the act two i think it's called act two uh, the microwave popcorn, I don't like them things and I'd rather, you know, control the amount of butter and salt and things that I put on my on my popcorn. So this is going to come right in handy. It goes like that and then it'll rise as it pops or it collapses so that it's easy to store. And then it tells you, I just seen a number, didn't I? Oh yeah, so it says 50 grams. 50 grams, I'm guessing of kernels. I don't know if that's like how much of the popcorn that I'm supposed to use, the kernels. But I will definitely figure it out. I mean, it's not going to be rocket science. And then like I said, the top. Go ahead and pop your kernels in the microwave nice and fresh popcorn i am so excited about that personally because again i don't be liking the bag of popcorn that we buy in the microwave the kids like it but they don't even eat it that much so it's good to have some natural options and then this last little thing here is just something for me to put on the wall for like a towel hanger i want this on the outside of my shower so that you know we can hang our towels because usually i just throw it over this the, the curtain rod the shower rod and as i'm coming out the shower i'll just grab it down but you know just something to put into the wall and install as a towel holder i'm actually using one of the products from timu let me um grab my phone real quick i want to record it because i got this desk stand to hold my ring light guys so i love the fact that my ring light it doesn't before i had to have my desk like pulled out so now I don't have to have my desk pulled out. The ring light just fits on that little holder. That stem was like $12 on Timo. They be coming through. Now we're going to move into the final bag here. Oh, let me tell you how I got. I told my friend I got wished. Because I thought these were like the big for you pans. But I bought a 20 pack of the small for you pans. Which Babe said is cool. Because he will make like in little individual macaroni and cheese tins. And use it like that. So these are definitely going to come in handy. But again, I got wished. Because this is not what I thought it was. But again, it ain't like I bust out a ruler and was like, oh, these are the measurements. I just be throwing stuff in the cart and I find out later. And with these prices, I don't mind doing that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, see, I lied. I don't know why I have kitchen stuff in there and then I have some kitchen stuff in here too. Because I bought these sponges. See, these are like the scrub sponges. So it's a little bit more scrubbier. And it's going to go nicely on top of my little organizer things. Because he can use the regular sponge and then... I'm telling you, I had it all planned out in my head, guys. So we got some scrubby sponges. Then I have some hair stuff. So this is a drying towel. It's supposed to be like a microfiber type of towel. So it's a drying towel for us to, me and Chloe, to use on our hair. 
so it will hold oh look how cute you got a little teddy bear there so wrap it around your hair and then tie it up with the little teddy bear hair so that your hair dries while you're getting out the shower definitely need another one of these because we basically just use the same one over and over i have one towel and i think you know you've seen it many a times it's the purple i was gonna say miel organics it's not miel it's um main choice it was the main choice towel <laughs> so i needed another one here i bought a bonnet because you know you can never have enough too many bonnets i be swearing my daughter i don't know what she be doing with them this one would be nice for her because she likes my big black one but i like my big black one too so <laughs> i kind of want it back so i basically bought that bonnet for her another one of those drying towels i went ahead and picked up two of those i'm not gonna open it i bought a wig cap but this was the darkest color they had at the time but this is a two-piece pack of wig caps just something to keep in the stash then we have some hair accessories i bought these for like when i do her hairstyles so we have some beads we have some hooks we have wait let me take it out the plastic gold silver you have some beads you have your some hooks just a nice little variety of things to add you know hair accessories to put into the stash also got some bobby pins here if i'm not mistaken i got two okay so these are longer hair pins these are actual bobby pins um i'm already using one of these but we did get some uh rat tail combs as well so i got a black one the one i'm using now is blue other things that i usually get from dollar tree but these were like 69 79 cents for these uh two brush holders so i love those because i don't want nobody to brush you know out in the open so we always use these i like i said i usually get the two pack from dollar tree but i said you know let me get some more of those because i can never have too many of those i be hating when i be going to dollar tree expecting to get it and they don't have it in stock so i figured let me just rack up there's five people in this house y'all so i gotta keep those on deck this is a diffuser that i had purchased for the bathroom i actually have a diffuser in my bathroom right now as we speak and what i can tell you is this one is much smaller than the one that i have oh but it's nice look at that so it's gray it's a gray bottle that looks really nice and there's your diffuser sticks let me just get a quick little smell oh i'm sitting here smelling there's a stopper <laughs> i was gonna say it don't smell like nothing oh that's strong that smells like a man's cologne but of course it's gonna diffuse into the air when i actually put it out in the bathroom i don't need to change it right now but i just wanted to have like a backup for when that one runs out i have a backup and this they actually wrapped separately they had it in a bag they had it in like a, the orange Timo bag but they also had it inside of a box so they made sure that this didn't crack this was like wrapped really nicely i remember that but i bought myself another water bottle because you know you can't have too many water bottles i just think having a cute little water bottle makes you want to drink water like i have my ice water going right here so i'm super excited to have another cup for some water oh this okay i was like what is this this is actually a holder for my blow dryer i have a holder that i have purchased oh i purchased this holder from amazon and it does keep my pieces magnetically there but i you know i like to try new things so i thought this was cute that this will actually hold my hair dryer like that if i wanted to hang it on the wall this it has this um uh, it has this adhesive that you stick to the wall and it would hang like that and then you can actually put like some hair accessories or whatever you want to put there's little holders on top so i thought this was cute so it's for my dyson hair dryer or whatever blow dryer you use i'm pretty sure it doesn't have to be just a dyson now this was not what i thought it was and it took me a long time to figure out what it was but then i had to read and it does say wig strap there so i wanted one of these and i didn't think it was going to be like this kind of texture i don't know if i want to put this on my head but this is supposed to make your wig stay in place <laughs> let me know if y'all use this silicone kind of thing to make your wig stay in place y'all because i've never seen anything like this texture i thought it was going to be a totally different texture but it's supposed to be like a headband basically that goes around your head and make your wig not slip around i ended up buying two of them i don't know why <laughs> but i will put it in my hair stash because you know you never know when these kind of things come in handy and i swear this was like a dollar something anyway so it wasn't that it's not that big of a deal but totally bugged me out when i saw that texture y'all y'all still sticking into this video we are almost done i got like five more things left so this is another one of those identity protectors i have the first one that i purchased right here because i've been cleaning out my mail and i said well i gotta be the only one in here doing this so i wanted to get a backup so that babe can help me clean out some of this mail too because a lot of it is his so we could just be sitting down watching tv and you know protecting our <laughs> protecting our identity at the same time so definitely wanted to pick up another one of those i told you somehow i ended up with two sets of these i didn't mean to but i did and i guess every appliance will have like a holder 
for the <laughs> for the cord on it. Oh, I'm really excited about this too. This is a mini sealing machine. So like when you open up the bag of potato chips and stuff, like I do have those little clips and stuff, but to me, I be feeling like I'm always repurchasing those because they always break in. So this is supposed to seal the bag back. Do I need batteries or something? How does this work? I wonder. It does have some instructions here. I'm just going to keep that in the box because I'm not going to go through the instructions and everything right now. But I am super excited to try these so that we can keep things fresh in here. Because sometimes, like, they're open chips. They may not want. They may not go back to it. And then by the time we do go back to it, it had air going inside the bag. So the chips is all stale and spoiled. So to avoid that, we're definitely going to be sealing some bags. I've been seeing this, like, everywhere. And I wanted to give it a try. It says this is the super clean, high-tech clean cleaning compound so it absorbs all around cleaning and kills germs and it has a proven disinfectant action does not leave residue ideal for devices and sur surfaces catches dirt and kills germs do not rub just press so i've been seeing a lot of people use these to actually clean like the inside of their car sometimes i don't even be knowing where these crumbs be coming from in the car but i guess it's me eating like french fries and the salt and everything dropping down <laughs> so i thought this would be nice to actually use and try to you know keep it cool Keep it car clean. It's supposed to be one, two, three, four. It's a six pack of the toilet things where you keep the water blue. <laughs> so you put those in the toilet and it's like every time you flush the water's blue and it disinfects the area. And then last but not least, we have some, it's like a carpet. It keeps the carpet in place because it annoys me. I have a carpet in the living room and like that little one corner that just turns up, it really gets to my nerves. So this is a four pack. So you stick this on the side of the carpet that needs to be stuck down and then it's supposed to like help it stay down. So hopefully it works. Definitely stay tuned to my best and worst of Timo. I will be going around the house showing you guys how I've been using this stuff. It has it worked. Does it really work? Like not everything is going to work. Okay. So I want to give you guys like a little best of situation so you guys can see what worked for me, what didn't. And what would be worth it to add into your cart. So definitely stay tuned for that video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hey squad, thanks so much for tuning in to another Timu haul. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to come chill with me. About to see what I picked up in my Timu haul. Shout out again one last time to Timu for sponsoring the first part of the video. For partnering with me. Offering that 30% off code for you guys to actually save on your Timu haul. Chime in down below in the comment section. Let me know what you're interested in. Like if you need a new water bottle, y'all get you one. Because they're cute. They have different little colors and stuff going on if you have a small little bathroom and you want a diffuser you know let me know what you have your eye on from this whole some of the clothing items like i got kind of a lot of clothing items going on back here Hair accessories all kind of things so let me know what your monks decided about to check out in timu have you guys gotten any orders from timu i want to know what you've been purchasing from timu maybe it's something that i need to add to my next cart and guys I said I don't have a cart going well I do have a cart going but I don't have nothing on the way so I'm gonna enjoy the stuff that I purchased now because I think I purchased a lot of it and then again shout out to Timu for sending some more over for us to enjoy for me to tell you about share with you guys so definitely stay tuned for that best of Timu video coming up to you guys really really soon hope you guys are enjoying your weekend I'm gonna go ahead and pop up some videos here on the screen for you guys just in case you missed a couple of my recent uploads you may have missed my last Timu haul because it didn't get as much views as the first Timu haul so go ahead and check that out if if you haven't seen it already give this video a thumbs up before you go and i hope to catch each and every one of you in the next video until next time y'all stay blessed later guys